Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to bring you my first round of brand new DIYs for 2021. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my absolute favorite Dollar Tree items that are easy to find. Most Dollar Trees carry them year round and I'm gonna share with you how to take these everyday Dollar Tree items and turn them into high-end inspired decor for your home. So let me know down in the comments below what are some of your really easy to find or favorite items to craft with at Dollar Tree. I always love to know what people like to craft with at the Dollar Tree. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. First high-end DIY will feature a Dollar Tree pizza pan. I love crafting with these and this is gonna be really easy. We're just going to spray paint it with some white chalk finish spray paint. And then to really make it high-end, we're gonna add these faux leather ribbon pieces from Dollar Tree. This is a new find and it is great for adding a really nice high-end accent. So all I did was cut two pieces to act as handles for this tray. I cut them about four inches, depending on how high you want your handle to be will be how long you cut your strip. Then once you have the two pieces, you're gonna go ahead and put them on either side of the tray. And I went ahead and used a pencil so I can mark where I'm going to hot glue, since we will have part of the ribbon going up in the middle to look more like a handle. Once you have your four markings, and I just eyeball this, you can definitely measure this if you want this more exact, you're going to glue the ribbon and just make sure you hold it in place before you glue the other side so that the handles stay nice and upright. Okay, so this is what our tray looks like unstyled. I will show you how I style it in a minute, but I think the white really looks crisp against the faux leather handles and really gives it a high-end look. And then to style this, I just added this canister from Target, a white pitcher that I had thrifted, and a nice accent piece from Hobby Lobby. And this really just pulls this together. I actually store my coffee K cups in here, so it is functional and high-end looking, and it only cost $2 to make this high-end inspired Dollar Tree tray. Another Dollar Tree must have is their seasonal signs and for our next high-end DIY we'll be using this beware sign that I was going to use for the holidays and didn't and instead we will paint over the red color with some apple barrel jet black paint. You can use any color you want but I thought the black would really lend to a nice high-end modern farmhouse look for this project. On the sign, you could see it kind of has this scalloped top and the two holes where the hanger was. So to cover that, we're gonna take four craft sticks. These are the jumbo size you can get from Walmart. And we're gonna paint them in this white Adirondack chalk paint. Just one coat on all of the craft sticks to cover the wood. And this will act as a border that will cover up those ends of the seasonal sign from Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments if you have found these awesome farmhouse frames at your Dollar Tree. I think these are so pretty and they definitely have a super high-end look for Dollar Tree. So we will be incorporating three of these as well as a free printable, which will be in the description box below to make a really pretty and easy high-end piece. So for this, you're gonna take the printable and take the glass insert of one of the frames to center the wording to where you're gonna put it in the frame. And then just don't press down too hard since this is glass. You're gonna trace all three of the printables and cut them out. Mm -hmm. 
then really easy you're just going to put the glass back in the frame and then for all three of the frames put the printable back in and since we will be gluing these to that Dollar Tree seasonal sign you're just going to carefully take out the stand because we will not be having these stand up like I said they will be on our sign put this piece all together we are going to hot glue those craft sticks that we were waiting to try two on the top and two on the bottom now we are going to go back in with that beautiful faux leather ribbon and also let me know down in the comments if you have found this at your dollar tree this is going to be in a lot of my upcoming projects i just love it so i trimmed a piece to size and i hot glued that in the middle of the two craft sticks so that it covered up the seam and it definitely gives it a little more of a high-end look. So this is so far what the sign looks like with the border of our ribbon and craft sticks. And now it's just time to place and glue our three frames. I had this say, home is wherever I'm with you. I love this saying. I also love the song from Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Let me know if you know that song. Um, it's just a really cute saying and this is a great piece to keep in your home year round. I also wanted to add on the back of this, I did add my jute and craft stick hanger that I do in a lot of my projects. In case I decide to hang this on the wall, I'd like to give myself that option. So here we go, for about $5, you get this beautiful, large, high-end piece that is great for any style home decor, depending on the colors you choose. And this would be a great addition to any gallery wall you may have in your home. I don't know about you, but when I find wall art like this at the Dollar Tree, it is a major win because you really don't have to do much to it. For this, I just decided to add an 11 by 14 flat canvas panel also from Dollar Tree, which is another great find. And all I'm gonna do for this project is just layer them. The reason for this is that the wall art is super pretty, it's just a little bit small. So a little tip is if you add it to a larger canvas, it gives the layered look of a larger piece, which definitely gives it a little bit more of a high-end look. And then going back again with that faux leather ribbon from Dollar Tree, I was not kidding when I said that I love this. I just measured two pieces to size for the top and bottom and I attached them with some hot glue. Not too much hot glue because you don't want it to be raised or bumped through the leather pieces and that is it for this project. Again, I did a really easy piece of jute folded with a piece of craft stick hot glued over top to act as a hanger. I do this a lot and they do hold up really well for light pieces of wall decor. And how pretty is this? I think this print on its own has a really high-end look and being able to add some ribbon and a canvas from Dollar Tree to give this a little bit more of a larger high-end look is such an easy, easy DIY. Another high-end must-have from Dollar Tree is their candlesticks. I especially love these kind of thicker, more modern, porcelain candlesticks from Dollar Tree and for this we're going to pair it with another must-have which is their crafter square wood boxes or trays um, they come in two different sizes this is more of a square one and this one has a little bit more of like a scalloped I guess you would say edge um, we're going to go with the square one for this project and I am going to layer this on top of a candlestick to give a functional tray look for my soap and some greenery in my kitchen. So I painted the crafter square box with some white chalk paint and since this will be going in my kitchen I wanted to make sure it would hold up to any water that may splash so a polyacrylic protective coat is definitely recommended. So at first I went to hot glue the top of the candlestick to the bottom of this crafter square box 
but that did not work since the candlestick has a little bit of like a raised top. So instead what I did was so that this project actually worked, I flipped the candlestick over because the bottom did not have that raised edge and then just some hot glue and centered it with the crafter square tray and that is it. Super easy, $2, you get a high end functional piece. You can also add a different paint color to this, a stencil, whatever your decor preference is, but I think this is a really easy way to use some Dollar Tree candlesticks for functional high end decor in your home. So I showed you the flat panel canvas from Dollar Tree, but they also have regular canvases with the wood frame and an assortment of sizes. For this project, you will need one of the eight by 10 stretched canvases. And I will admit taking off the canvas from these frames is not my favorite task. Let me know if you're the same way because I find it really difficult. So for this, I just kind of tore away the canvas. It was destroyed, but that's okay. We're not using it. And I left the staples because we will be gluing a piece of Dollar Tree foam board to them anyway. Be sure to check the description box below. I did provide another free printable for this project. The more high-end inspiration for this project was this really pretty sign from Hobby Lobby. Now this is a larger piece. We're gonna make ours in an eight by 10 size, but I'm okay with that. The savings I have from spending less than $2 on this versus 42 or 30 are definitely worth it to me. So the first thing you're gonna do is trace the printable since it's a little bit larger to the wood frame. Then once you cut that out, you're gonna take a piece of a Dollar Tree foam board or any foam board that you have, and then you're going to trace that to the foam board so it fits to size. I like using spray adhesive, so that is what I'm gonna use to adhere this printable to the foam board. With the spray adhesive, I let it set for like five seconds so it gets any liquid dried up and there's no bubbles or wet marks. And then I just carefully place that on top of the foam board, smoothing it out so that it is nice and smooth with no bubbles. Now it is time to hot glue our frame to this foam board piece. I left this unfinished, you can definitely stain this, but I liked the light wood look, so personal preference, that's what I went with. And then to trim out any foam board that might be sticking out, I just took my box cutter and carefully trimmed that. And then any pieces that looked kind of jagged still, you're gonna take a sanding sponge to smooth them out so that you don't see any of the foam board peeking through. I also left a little hanger on here just to give myself the option in case I wanna hang it on the wall. And that is it for less than $2. You get this really pretty farmhouse high-end sign. I definitely think this looks like something you would get at Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree nautical rope is definitely for me a must have. They have the traditional nautical rope, which is on the right. And then they came out with this really pretty larger cotton nautical rope, which I absolutely love. So we will be pairing it with this pink bowl from Dollar Tree, which we're gonna spray paint the inside of it with some white chalk paint, just so that you don't see the pink. Now flipping this over really easy, we're just going to hot glue the nautical rope going all the way around this bowl, except for the bottom. You could do the bottom, but I found that I tried this out on another smaller bowl just to see if this worked, and it just was kind of laying kind of funky. So I found that if I went right to the end of the bottom, it held up fine. And for this project, I used three packs of the Dollar Tree nautical cotton rope. So for $4, 
besides the cost of the spray paint or what paint you have on hand, you get this really pretty easy looking bowl. I think the rope just definitely gives it a more fresh kind of high end look. And this will be going in my entryway to throw our keys and random outdoor essential <laughs> items in. Dollar Tree always has so many picture frames. I like the ones that look like they're already matted. So I got this printable off of Etsy. I will link the shop down in the description box. And all I did was just add this to the frame. I liked that the frame was gold. It had a little bit more of a modern look to it to me. And it's great when you can either make printables or you can add printables to a frame to get a easy high-end decor look. Dollar Tree also carries a lot of different glass vases and different pieces. So I was excited to try this stone spray paint from Hobby Lobby to give it a little bit more of a textured look. I've been wanting to try this for a while, so I was really excited to get my hands on this. And for this, instead of spraying it continuously, I just kind of did little spurts of spray paint going around, waiting for it to dry before going on to the next part. And I just added some greenery I had, and I think the added texture is what really takes this dollar vase and gives it a much more high-end look. Dollar Tree always has assortment of different books. So I randomly found these two books from Dollar Tree. I could care less what they say since we will be taking the covers off of them anyway. I just picked two books that had the same size so that this project was more symmetrical. The books had a more gray color so I just painted them white. And then I took this beautiful farmhouse ribbon from Dollar Tree, cut a piece long enough that I can tie a bow on top. And then to really give it a little bit more of that farmhouse look, I added some random greenery that broke off of a pick that I had. You could still see a little bit of the wording on these, but I think it looks fine with the white paint over it since it's so subtle. And it's a great addition to any farmhouse decor, especially in a living room or on a bookshelf. So that does it for these brand new high-end Dollar Tree DIYs that actually look high-end. I love how these all turned out. I'm having so much fun styling them in my home. So let me know which of these projects was your favorite. I always love to know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time out of their day to watch my videos. If you enjoy my content, make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell, as well as giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and lets me know what you guys like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.